after o helen zile decided to call black people dogs a, a, a petition has been signed we demand immediate political disqualification of helen zile as of me writing this uh, look as of me uh, releasing making this video this 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 um this uh, petition has about 724 signatures and i guarantee you you're gonna you go look we will make this look this one every one of you guys must must sign this public this petition right so what i'm gonna do in the video description you will see the link just check in the video description you will see the link the link is gonna be there you'll look you'll, you'll, you'll sign this petition and then we have and look we'll, it will be so nice to have helen zilla step down because we are we are tired of helen zilla like we are very tired of helen zilla lenda boy genu is a challenge this government of national confusion is a challenge it is already starting with them showing more signs of racism uh it was host in the beginning now it is helen zilla herself so i'm going to give you this um this the details about this um about this uh this uh this petition but i was also give you a bit of uh i'll, I'll give you a video uh a, a look a short a short video where you will listen to this video you will hear where this petition is coming from why people are calling for her head are saying she must be disqualified because she's such a racist i mean i'm i'm thinking to myself where well, Ramaphosa. If it wasn't Ramaphosa, we will not have been. He invited DA. You know, out of everything Ramaphosa could have done, out of everything, out of everything that Ramaphosa could have done, he just decided, let me invite back ETA into power. Out of everything and anything that Ramaphosa could have done, he invites DA back into power. Okay, they are back now. This is what they are showing. They are showing you, uh, uh, look, the meekly finger, broad daylight. What are you going to do if the leader of an organization called DA, federal chairperson, Helen Zille, calls black people dogs? If such sentiments are shared on a high hierarchy of that leadership, what more can you expect from the local, from there going downward? What more can we expect? There's more... That we don't know about DA. That needs to be known. There's more that need that we don't know about DA. I'm telling you, there's more that we don't know about DA that we look we, we look we currently uh, are not privileged to know. That's my uh, that's my technically that's my problem with it. We, 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 with these people called ETA. But again, don't worry. I'll give you more details about it. Probably that you're interested. Well. This is what you need to do as well here if you are not yet subscribed what are you waiting for come on good people because to subscribe it is free to like the video it is free to comment in the comment section below it is free of charge to click the notification bell it is free of charge to share this video it is free of charge to watch this video until the end it is free of charge also good people i mean come on to watch the ads it's free of charge and that's how you financially contribute to this YouTube channel. Speaking about financial contribution to the channel, you can join, become a member of this YouTube channel from as likely as 20 rand a month. You can also uh, use the super thanks party. In case you don't want to do that, guys, there is a way where you can use my media company banking details to donate to the channel. And you know what I'm saying? will bring you more and also guys want to buy more equipment so the power is in your hands please do the honorable thing as we proceed okay now um first of all okay wait wait before i i, I read the petition i'm gonna read i'm gonna i'm gonna go through the petition but before i give you the i, I before I, I, I allow you to look to look to read the petition the petition guys was started on the 3rd of july 2024 right now, in this petition, uh, the local oh, what triggered people to create this petition? It is simply because of the words that were said by Helen Zilli when she decided unprovoked and let let me say this again, unprovoked. Please note this: 
unprovoked, she decides she's going to call the people who are leaders of uh, local political parties, EFF and MK party, calls them dogs. Unprovoked. Nobody provoked her to say that. But this is what she said. So we aren't, and I'll be quite honest, I mean, we could threaten to bring KwaZulu Natal down if they don't agree to the document's terms in Gauteng, but we're not going to do that. We're not irresponsible people. We don't want to hand KwaZulu Natal to MK and the EFF. It would be a total disaster for that province. So we're not about to do that. There are other levers that, we, that we're going to use. Obviously, there are. But we're not going to say the people of KwaZulu-Natal can be thrown to the dogs. Not at all. Okay. So let's go through the, the, the petition then. The petition reads as follows. It says, on the 2nd of, 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 of July 2024, Helen Zille, a prominent South African figure, publicly and shamelessly attack our black brothers in Guazulu Natal through a racial charged uh, derogatory remark uh, likening them to dogs. This blatant discrimination strikes a severe blow to the inclusive and respectful society we endeavor to foster in South Africa. Zealous words were not just hateful, but further expose the deep-seated racial prejudice that are still look at that are still uh, harbored in South African political landscape. Racism and discrimination should look should possess no place within society. Let no politics where representatives are meant to uphold justice, human rights, and social harmony. Zealous actions are in a clear violation of principle enshrined in Chapter 2 of the South African Constitution that ensure that the right to equality and freedom from discrimination. We believe that swift and resolute um, uh, a census must be enacted towards zealous, look towards zealous uh, uh, transgression as a, a look a deterrent to future incident of this nature. However, um, such penitive measure will directly contribute towards South Africans' uh, fight against racism, right? against racism, promoting our collective journey towards a more equal, inclusive, and respectful society. Not the word respectful, because Helen Zille doesn't know what respect looks like. Please, so please note the word respectful society. This one doesn't know the word respectful. Respect. She does not have a single respect for black people. Right? Uh, she said, support us in our bid to have Helen Zille banned from political landscape of South Africa. Her racial slant, slant, uh, look, slant undermine the values, uh, the values as forward-looking society that respect all its members' dignity. Join this petition and make a stand against racial bias, discrimination in politics. Sign this petition. Okay. Um, let me see if there are comments that... Uh, okay, somebody commented and say, her arrogance is... Look, at her arrogance is not going to work. She cannot go around the country bullying our leaders, demanding positions. Her obsession of position is insane, disrespectful, and undermining black people. She is she is a bully and must be stopped at all cost. GP will never bow down to her. In other words, when when he says uh, GP, he meant that's a comment, by the way, under the petition. Um, look, uh, uh, that's a comment when they say GP, they mean Gauteng. Uh, look, the the ANC in Gauteng decided not to be bullied by this bully called Ellen, called, called Helen Zille. Yar. And then somebody commented and said, somebody says, the idiom is rather a very insulting. Uh, we found it insulting. We can't even consider it an idiom. This woman, she's so disrespectful, full stop. She, she's on top of 
this world and nobody's going to say anything to her because she thinks she's in charge of this country. She controls this country and nobody's going to say anything to her. That's how you feel when you talk to Helen Zille. That's how much of an... She's, she's got such an audacity calling other people dogs. No. Okay, look. But okay, we will see. Ramaphosa will never rescue black people. Never. We will know if you ask Ramaphosa about this, he will tell you about processes that must be followed. And, the, and, and I'm telling you, Noctula will never respond to this. We know Noctula. Noctula. He will tell you about uh, processes must be followed. 